Let's see. This building has its own history. An abandoned building. Oh. There was a child who was murdered here by uh, his mother. The last place you'd probably think of for art exposition. I don't do pretty. But for Amanda King, this building on Buckeye and 130th fit perfectly. I do what is real and what is here and what is in the community. The Marigold exhibition shows three generations from a family living in Buckeye who have seen violence firsthand, including a bullet shot right through their window. I just saw how much her family really loved and contributed to the Buckeye community. But who are also resilient, just like their neighborhood. I knew that they were very much representative of sort of this Marigold's concept, something that is fragile but is resilient. Amanda's Muse, the novel from Ohio author Tori Morrison's The Bluest Eyes, the main character, Picola, experienced similar tragedies. We need to uplift folks like Picola in our society. This artwork is an extension of Amanda's socially conscious nonprofit for youth called Shooting Without Bullets. What I do is I provide them with a framework to process complex social problems. Yeah. Problems like poverty, crime, and neglect. She helps teens put their painful experiences into art and music. Life on a lot near you. The big picture, to engage the community and to change it. The authenticity of the program lies within learning to be and navigate and love and appreciate your own streets. Amanda's next project for Shooting Without Bullets is a program for youth to get them involved with voting. It's called The Wake Up, a criminal justice reform discussion. It'll be this Saturday at CSU and it's open to the public. Lauren Wilson, News 5.